So in this video, we want to push the idea of complex brushes one step farther. I created this pencil graphic, and if you can see, it's a pretty complex shape there. Um, and from that, I generated four PNGs using the same process from the last video. I'll put a link in the description below. And here are uh, these examples. And in the brushes uh, editor, if you go to uh, the brushes and you double click, uh, it'll pull up the panel for each of these strokes. And notice that <clears throat> they're all set to stretch. Um, although I also tried repeat, and I'll show you two examples of that. Um, and if you've never done this before, you can set the off head and tail offsets by sliding these red lines around, or just by entering it into these fields if you know the exact measurements. And um, what that does is it sets the area that's going to be stretched. So in this case, the the uh, pencil lead and the, and the eraser and a metal ferrule here at the end are going to basically be left alone and the stretching is really going to take place in the yellow area. So once I did that, I in the appearance panel, just as uh, I showed before, you set up several stroke instances applying each stroke an individual brush um, set exactly identically. You can change the color, um, but the order should be uh, such that the um, grayscale image is on top, and then the color areas are below so that they'll be seen. And the, the last stack is the, uh, the kind of base color that blocks out um, things below it. And once you've got that done, you go to the Styles palette and add the style from the selection. And I've created some different versions of this here just by making changes and then saving those as styles. This is just kind of the stacking order of how they appear. And you can change the colors to, to be whatever you'd like. Um, here is just two examples of these brushes. One is a set to repeat and one is set to stretch. And you can kind of see the difference in the repeat. the the sections are repeated. So um, that's why I created a really short graphic because I was planning on stretching and and or repeating. The stretch does stretch and so you can see that the grain pattern on the repeat has actually been stretched out to create kind of a, a gr wood grain effect which is kind of neat. So you can actually incorporate particles that get stretched out in your design if you'd like or if you want to maintain uh, them as they are use the repeat. And then here, just to show you, is the same effect applied to a curve. So there's the repeat brush, and there's the stretch version. So there you go. That's uh, setting up a brush with four different layers. And uh, yeah, play around with that, see what you can do. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or questions. Thanks for watching.